On Thursday, May 4th, local churchgoers and religious leaders gathered in Pikeville Park to recognize National Day of Prayer. Throughout the event, various prayers were recited regarding our churches, government, and education system. Everyone in attendance was glad to share the experience with each other. Prayer is essential, and we believe as a people of God that uh, prayer is uh, it's vital for our nation, uh, for the health of our nation, for the direction of our nation, and uh, as far as morality and other things like that. So we believe that it's important to come together uh, often uh, on a regular basis and pray, but specific times like this, it's important for us to come together as a community as well. It's annual, but it's also national as well. Um, and so there are, there are people meeting literally across the United States of America right now that are praying for God's intervention in our country. Cancer, it's a very scary word. But an outstanding treatment facility was here at home. I was led to the Lawson Cancer Center. As a nurse practitioner at the Lawson Cancer Center, we are champions for our patients. I am so happy for Robert. The treatment worked. Make it through the day. Although celebrated on a national level, the Day of Prayer is an important community event as well. Johnson says those who practice their faith need to pray all the time. Just like in our individual churches, we need to participate in things in our community to, to reach out and to show the love of Christ. And, and that's one way we do that. The great commandments are to love God and to love each other, love our neighbor. And I think that this is a little bit of both of that. The Bible tells us to pray without ceasing. And so this is an attitude of prayer, not just a one-time event, but it's something that we ought to do all the time. I think about Main Street down here. We ought to pray for our elected leaders. We ought to pray for our churches. We ought to pray for our nation. Uh, it ought to be something we do on a regular basis, not just one time a year. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.